going to help you alleviate the issue of clicking on links and it saying that you do not have permission or that this link is not accessible. So a lot of times when we are in Chrome, we have business to do with our personal account or another account. Uh, someone borrows our computer. This is not wrong. We just have to make sure we do it the right way. So the first thing to do to alleviate this problem is first, make sure you're in Chrome. And second, we're going to look up here at the top and make sure that that is the account that you're wanting to um, use. So I'm going to show you in a little bit how to put on those different profiles. I call them hats so that you don't have to worry about um, jumping from a personal account to jumping to a, a school account. So the first thing you need to do, make sure you're in Chrome and then go to your drive. So you have drive.google.com or you can go to your waffle and click the drive icon. And so a lot of people actually use the same profile picture for their personal account as well as their other school account. And this can get confusing because these profile pictures can match, but then we, um, the computer also um, can jump from different account to different account without us realizing it. Another thing is, is once you're into Drive, if you click this second profile image and once that you notice that you have more than one, account, you want to make these match. So I want to make sure that I'm using, um, so for instance, this is my Jefferson account, and I want to make sure that this is my Jefferson account. I'm wanting to delete this account. When there's more than one account within this second uh, drive, I click on a link, and if it says that only Jefferson County uh, domain can click on this link, then my computer uh, or Chrome browser can get confused. And so we're going to alleviate that. So we need to sign out of this account. So we're going to sign out and then we want to go back in. So sign in again and make sure another thing is to make sure that you know your passwords because um, we, we don't want to have to worry about that password um, fun dance that sometimes we have to do. So we're going to go back to the drive. And then we're going to click back on that second profile image. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on this that we want to make sure that we remove this account. So if you have more than one, you would click on that and then we would remove all of that. And so we want to keep this account and this one to be the only ones that are signed in with that. Well, when we want to sign in with our personal account, we don't want to make sure we don't want to go here and add an account because that will again help with the confusion and then you have to do that sign in and sign out. So it depends on what type of computer you're on to make sure that you go on from profile to profile. But sometimes if you're on this computer you can um, add it with a Mac. You can go up here to people and you can add a person. And so you can see all the different profiles that I have access to and I can toggle back and forth from right here by going to people. And that's if you have a Mac and you would go down to add a person. But since I'm on a Mac, you're not going to see the same, but it's going to be add a person or manage people. And so if you're on a PC, you're going to go to the three little buttons that's at the top right corner, and then you'll go to manage people or add a person. I'm not sure exactly which one. And then you would add a profile. And from here, you'll be able to go to manage people and then toggle back and forth and go into Drive and make sure that those two accounts match. So this should help alleviate uh, clicking on a link that says you do not have access when you know you should have access. Mm -hmm.